Hi, thank you for visiting my poster. My name is Christina Weber, and I'm a bioinformatics field application scientist at PacBio. This poster is titled Improving Long Read Assembly of Microbial Genomes in Plasmids. Long read sequencing has made it possible to assemble complete genomes of microbial species, enabling better species classification and functional profiling. PacBio's multiplex microbial workflow allows the researcher to multiplex up to 48 genomes or 200 megabases of assembled bacterial isolates using one smart cell 8M on a SQL2 system. Further, you can capture plasmids in the same assay, allowing the researcher to track and characterize these mobile elements. In this poster, we will walk through our microbial assembly pipeline and its application to a 48 plex dataset. Our example dataset includes a diverse array of bacterial species, most with three to four replicates and genome sizes ranging from 1.7 to 8.4 megabases. Six of the species have known plasmid content with plasmids ranging from two to 209 kilobases in size. Library construction was performed using our multiplex microbial library prep protocol using the Smart Bell Express template prep kit 2.0 available from our website. Starting material is one microgram of high molecular weight DNA. They were sequenced on a SQL2 system with a 15 hour movie preceded by two hours of pre-extension. The smart cell generated 104.5 gigabases of continuous long read data from 2.7 million polymerase reads. Mean polymerase read length was 37.8 kilobases with mean insert sizes of 10.7 kilobases and insert N50 of 14.8 kilobases with a total of 28.9 gigabases of unique molecular yield for the multiplex pool. These reads were demultiplexed using the demultiplex barcodes pipeline in SmartLink version 8 software, but this step could also be done using the Lima Bioconda package. These demultiplex datasets are publicly available on the PacBio DevNet. For the assembly analysis, we used microbial assembly analysis application available in SmartLink version 8 and later versions. This assembler is similar to our HGAP4 CLR assembler, but with several key differences. No repeat masking is applied, and instead of using D-Aligner, we use Raptor, a graph-based alignment tool. We also applied a new method to detect and remove chimeric reads. This workflow also applies several additional steps, particularly useful for bacterial assemblies. Assembly is applied twice, once to assemble bacterial chromosomes, and again to assemble plasmids from reads which did not assemble in the first iteration. The pipeline assumes that all contigs are less than 300 kb in length. Next, the two assemblies are combined and deduplicated, and to enable circularization and consistent polishing, reads are aligned back using a circular aware read mapper. The polished assembly is then rotated to begin at ORIC and formatted to be ready for submission to NCBI. Taking a look at the assembly performance, all species produced a single bacterial chromosome, shown in blue, except for Burkholderia cypacea which was expected to and did generate three chromosomes. Contig N50 is shown in orange and matches expected genome length. We also compared our assemblies with their reference assemblies in NCBI and all showed high quality values. Finally, moving to plasmid recovery, we had very good recovery of plasmids compared to the expectation from the NCBI reference. However, we were not able to recover very small plasmids, one 2KB plasmid from K. pneumonia and one 5KB plasmid from E. coli W, likely because these short fragments would have been removed during library prep and thus were not sequenced. We also detected a new plasmid for L. monocytogenes, which had not been listed in NCBI. 
In conclusion, PacBio's multiplex microbial protocol offers a cost-efficient approach to generate complete microbial assemblies, including circularization and plasmid recovery. This tool will advance the study of microbes in a wide variety of fields. Thank you for your time and attention.